So, Bucks are up in one game, but over here, more importantly, in the red, we have our champion from the GSL Season 1. You can't deny his fruit, he is. That's Korean for the fruit dealer. Actually, it's his Korean name, but I don't care. Most of you guys probably don't speak Korean. I can actually I can say whatever I want, probably get away with it here. Down here at the bottom right. That means inspired. Rules. <laughs> uh, his name is? Named after Slayer's boxer. But make no mistake, not the same boxer that you know. Although, with the way he's playing, taking out Fruit Dealer in game one, yeah. this guy may be more this famous for soon. Boxer push. You know? Just two barracks pressure. It's actually a really good build. It was a good build in StarCraft 1. And this game is looking more and more like StarCraft 1. Those games we saw last night, Tasteless, tell me you weren't watching StarCraft 1 with better graphics. No, I was. I mean, it was very similar to the strategies that were being used. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing much less clumsy play here, mm -hmm. with the exception of the Sand Zenith game where I wanted to tear my eyes out. Yeah, that was uh, the worst thing I've ever Whoa. seen. Next to that other game we saw, which was actually the worst. I've never seen a man die in such a painful way. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And <laughs> Anyways. Let's throw up that little production tab. Ah. Boxer goes for his buildings very close to his base. That way the SCVs can get back to the minerals pretty quickly. Fruit Dealer does have an expansion over here and will take it. Hatchery first, Fruit Dealer's preferred opening. Yeah, uh, this map, Hatchery first, is actually quite easy to pull off. There's, It's kind of a long map, and obviously they have to come up into your main base to be able to harass your expansion which is not really doable because you have your queen up there as well and the creep to really help out with speed. Marines just aren't going to pull it off. This is a great map for Hatchery first. The drone moving out now. Same time, the SCV going to do some scouting as well. This is a map where Zerg usually does have to scout with a drone. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to get to the Terrence base in time. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot of good places to put that Overlord. As we see, Fruit Dealer just kind of sending it down behind the rocks. It's probably just going to poke it behind the expansion. Yeah, right here and yeah. spot to see if he can see anything being mined from, from there. Exactly. You know, that's an important thing is Zerg. You have to find out where you can actually put your Overlords for scouting. Some maps are not that good for Overlord scouting. And there, then you have to drone scout no matter what. So here we see the drone scout continue to move around. He did not breach the main. I think Fruit Dealer saying that a little bit later. Yeah. But the command center's on the way. Ooh, I like this build. And you know what? This is actually very interesting because when we see a one Rax expand, normally we see a Reaper made with it so that you can go and scout. And I love that build, but this is actually really cool because he's just making Marines. And this is going to lead into a quicker timing push. Very true. Zerg's third base timing is going to be critical if he even does opt to third base mm. at all. And perhaps trying to take out the main force before securing the third base. Um, this game is still pretty new, so the timing attacks are not the cleanest in the world. Yeah, and Tasis, I got to say, I was actually just going to say exactly what you said. Uh, on this map, against a player like this, I may just try to take out the main force of him first before taking that base. It's actually a very good thing to do against a player like this. The command center seconds away from completing. Over here we have the factory on the way. The Marines are continuing to push forward. I didn't really expect this yeah, to happen. He should be turning around right about now. I don't know um, about this. But you know what? Fruit Dealer's actually not making any attack. It's not again. Oh my god, I think he may have assumed that he was gonna turn around. And killing that overlord, Fruit Dealer's in trouble already. Uh you know, this is kind of what we meant when we were casting the finals and saying, you know, there are holes in Fruit Dealer's play that Hope Torture is not hitting on. And obviously, Boxer has looked at all those VODs probably 400 times. And he is finding little holes in Fruit Dealer's play. Fruit Dealer likes to drone up early. He doesn't like to make a lot of Zerglings. So you attack him with four Marines, then run back. And you're going to be in great shape, as we've seen here. I really like the uh, barracks placement here. See, this act makes mm. a filter. It's like a small hallway, so that way the Zerglings, uh, even if they do get speed, can't get up there. These Marines, are they going to get up there in time? Safely do. Yeah, you just block that off with the Marine in the front as he's doing. Zerglings aren't going to be able to do anything. Uh, speed being researched for Fruit Dealer, getting a ton of drones right now. He does have that Roach worn up just in case as well. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Roaches are going to be that great against this player. Roaches normally better against mech-based play, even though right now a lot of Zergs using Roaches against everything just because they have an extra range.
good to see these players experimenting with stuff like that. Oh, definitely. The layer's on the way. Second um, extractor. Uh, and soon to be a third extractor here. I'm guessing he's going to go for some mutilist play. Yeah, I, I definitely think you're right. He does love the muta play. Um, that's really the standard of ZGT right now. Now, for dealer working on those rocks, smart move. You know, just make him move some marines down or whatever. It just makes someone uncomfortable, something like that. Oops, excuse me. He does. <laughs> let's look over here in oh, the darkness. Let's look in this dark area Isn't over here. scary looking? <laughs> What? Ooh, tasteless. Look at that. Yes, Whoa. a hatchery. I like this. And this harkens back to what you were talking about. Kill the army before expanding again. It can be a very good strategy, especially against someone known for making a ton of units off two base, such as this boxer. Um, I really like it. It's going to give him enough units to definitely overcome whatever army boxer's going to throw at him. Medivacs moving out. Ooh. And yet, sticking with this extra hatchery, in case you're confused at home, getting an extra hatchery like this is going to force you to stick with two bases much longer, mm. get a lot more units. Now, a lot of this is going to come down to how good he is with the Medivacs. Yeah, there's nothing has scouted this yet, so this might actually surprise Fruit Dealer hugely. In the meantime, he's getting a Baneling Nest and drops. He's going to really try to hurt the two base economy with those... With those uh, that combo, but here this is come. actually so important right now. If he puts this behind here, this is going to be so hard to stop with just Zerglings out. He's got two medivacs with a lot of energy, a ton of Marines coming out. They do sick DPS and taking out the Baneling Nest first. Pretty good idea right there. And down come Fruit Dealer's units. He may be eliminated here. This is bad. When you see him with the drones and the hockey, that means he's thinking he's defending with it. Uh-oh, this is not looking good. Killing Overlords and these Marines in a very hard to attack location with all those medivacs. It looks like Fruit Dealer may be eliminated here. More and more links coming around here. But the Medivacs still have energy. And that is, I believe, going to be GG. Oh, my. Oh, my God. I hope you guys. I, I bet think no Korea's one asked gonna Boxer. going to turn into a black hole right now. I bet you no one asked Boxer a question on the forums. But it was looking like he is dead, man. This is not looking good. This is not a healthy Fruit Dealer. This is 49 against 78 supply. And no damage done to our Terran player yet. He is so far ahead. Picks up some Marines with that even and goes away. This kid came in knowing all the holes in Fruit Dealer and has been just destroying him because of it. This is unbelievable. Boxer way ahead. Barracks explosion occurring with you tons know. of barracks oh, wow. coming out here now. It is hard to imagine how possibly Fruit Dealer could come back from this. Using the factory to scout, he knows exactly what's going on. Yeah, he knows everything in the entire world right now. Um, Fruit Dealer, he is getting drops. He already has Roach Speed. He's getting plus one Carapace. Getting his Baneling Nest again. And speaking of two basing, he's going to two base very hard. Two basing, of course, meaning he's not going to get a third expansion. He's just going to try to time it out. And I think he just might try to bust the front. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be oh, so hard no. to hold that, man. Without Baneling Speed, this is going to be something else if he holds it, but he's not even researching Baneling Speed as we see on the production tab. Making a lot of Banes, yes. He's going to have to engage on creep, but again, Stim Marines on creep are still going to do better against Banes and Banes will do against them. Here we go. Stimmed up. He's going to try to micro against these Banelings. It's the only thing in the entire world for Vox right now is micro against these, and he moves too far forward. Gets hit by some Banes, and it looks like Blue Dealer going to hold off this drop. attack. Beautiful! Oh my god. I can't believe he's even still alive. I was expecting the GG key to... Dude, the GG this, to this is Fruit Dealer, man. He does not go down without a fight. The Roach is coming up, clean up what they can. And it looks like Boxer is... Just should not be overcommitting at this point. The Roach is doing a really good job against these Marines. Fruit Dealer wisely retreats here. Only picking up the units he can. Back on the creep. Also manages to get a creep tumor over here. That's really good. It's going to give him vision down there of exactly what's happening. Boxer going to resupply his units. Let's take a look at these supplies. 103 to 73. That Baneling drop was phenomenal. Really nice play by him there. That's right. Now at the unit tab, we have 49 drones against 56 SCV. So he's recovered his economy. 10 Banes and 3 Roaches and 17 Speedlings against 28 Marines and 8 Medivacs. A really heavy Bionic style here from Boxer. He stims again. Fruit Dealer runs for it. 
Now, no, see this dropship? He wants, oh, no, he's not a dropship, an overlord. He wants to drop that on the Marine Army. That's right, and if he can, he'll be able to crush it. So we'll just have to see. Queen is going to go down, it looks like. No, never mind. Back in this. And I love how he just micros with a few. The others are down below trying to get pot shots. He's trying to target Banes if he possibly can. This is getting scary. Oh, man. Basically, no more 42 otters. Marines at this point and 10 medevacs. These are not very killable units. He needs a Baneling speed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looking good, but here, here come the Baneling, Baneling drops. drops. Dropping so many Banelings, but only a few Roaches left. Will he bust through this army? Fruit Dealer, will he come back in this amazing game? Unbelievable. Fruit Dealer's hanging on, but I don't know how much more time he has left. More Roaches come out. Remember, Roach is quite strong against Marines. Wow, these Marines, they're still doing a lot because there are so many medevacs healing them very quickly. And we have some uh, Marauders coming up, and that's going to be very scary for Fruit Dealer. Killing Marauders with Roaches against did, Mass Medevac, very hard to do. He did switch into some Zerglings here. More Zerglings come out. Zerglings quite good against Marauders, but they're going to need some Roach support before they can engage. That's right. He's trying to make more Zerglings as he can, but there's just too many Marines. This may be the last stand of Fruit Dealer. We see no Banelings. He has no time to remake them. Let's use every Zergling as it pops out for defense. Oh my god, I think this is actually it. Takes out the Baneling Nest. That's GG. Wow. Fruit Dealer is actually out of the GSL. That's right. In just a moment, I expect to see a GG here. So many medevacs there. Just great play by Boxer. And I hope you guys have some good questions about because I'll be giving him an interview after these drones all perish. Oh my god, Fruit Dealer's out of the tournament. What? It's, this is crazy, man. This is not what I expected when I came here today. Well, this is interesting. Fruit Dealer actually loses in a round of 32. Okay. Wow. Well, Boxer played incredibly well. As you can see, he does, uh, Fruit Dealer does have a few more units, but he doesn't have anywhere to mine from, really. These supplies, if you look at them, 24 against 138. Now 19 against 138. 16, 14. Fruit Dealer trying to hold on with 8 supply now. Probably just composing himself. It has to be very upsetting to lose in this round. We just won the previous tournament. I just looked behind my shoulder and saw Fruit Dealer's face. It's incredibly, he is a look of frustration. That's right. Like I've never seen before. And, uh, wow. So, you know, if you get all your buildings destroyed, uh, you do have to be forced out of the game. And GG. there it is, GG. Boxer wow. beats the Fruit there Dealer. There he is. Achievement, you beat Fruit Dealer, where no other Terran has. Wow. Pretty sick, man. Very aggressive, ballsy style. I like it. Well, the Boxer fans have to be happy about that one. Yeah. Unbelievable. Slayer's Boxer has to be like, huh. Is this kid who copied my name better than me? Because he just got slammed by Fruit Dealer at BlizzCon. Well, Fruit Dealer, it's all right. You still got your 87,000 from Season 1. I'm sure that'll tide you over until Season 3. That's quite true. Which, by the way, is coming up. The 30th registration begins, ends on the 7th. So register. That's right. Come on down. Register it. But uh, let's talk about that game a little bit more. Yeah, please. Wow. Uh, you know, he did that style he's known for online, which is just make about nine barracks and a ton of medevacs and just be aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. It's uh, it's really crazy. It's like, um, what what is, I can't believe I can't remember the StarCraft 1 term of when you just go like Marines and vessels. <laughs> oh, SK Terran. SK Terran. Yeah. It's like SK Terran in StarCraft 2. That's what it is. Except without any sort of science special type unit. Now we just make just a bunch of Marines. But yeah, it's like SK style, just ridiculous pressure. Heavily micro-intensive. Yeah. So uh, he showed us this is another style that we're going to be seeing a lot. The Fruit Dealer just walked over to the bottom yeah. of our screen. That's okay. Oh, crushing we to be there. We love Fruit Dealer. Everyone's very He sad. can do whatever he wants, man. Yeah, He's man. Fruit Dealer. Of course. Um, wow. So Fruit Dealer's out of the tournament. I did not expect this to happen. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little um, crushed. I, I a little sad. But at the same time, I'm a little bit excited because Boxer, this is some guy we got to keep an eye on now. Yeah. yeah, in the first round, really, I was not impressed by his games at all. I thought they were terrible games. Uh, they game, were really weird, like these weird games nukes and stuff. Good. And pretty no, good these games, he really showed. He knows yeah. what he's doing. Uh, much better games, and the guy played really well. So we'll be interviewing him 
uh, pretty soon here. Guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thanks to our sponsor, Sony Erickson, and thank you, Blizzard, for making such a great game. And, of course, without you guys tuning in, this wouldn't be possible. We love you guys. We love StarCraft. Everybody at GOM loves StarCraft. So um, come on out to Korea. If you don't want to play, you can watch. But, of course, anybody can play. You don't have to be a pro gamer. You can just be an average Joe. You can be Joe the Plumber, any old, <laughs> old simple guy, you know, just an average nerd. Come out here and play, for real. Please join us. And, um, yeah. God, I can't believe Fruit Dealer's out. Yeah, it's it's kind pretty of, wild. I mean, uh, I'm trying to remain, lost in the qualification rounds. Yeah. We have a lot of great players that have already dropped out, like Jung Min Chul. Well, it happens. The it landscape happens. is changing quite quickly for who's yeah. you know, good and who's not. So Some people make these strategies. It's hard to adapt to them all. There's so many different ways to play this game right now. And uh, Fruit Dealer just didn't have anything ready for these type of styles. Uh, what can I say, man? Fruit Dealer is out. It's, it's quite an upset, but... We're going to be right back yeah, with we'll, that interview, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back, guys.